Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, we're going to talk about the punishment reward system because I do not like this and I feel like it creates so much trauma within us and especially for like my kind of generation, we were raised with this system or mentality or behaviour or whatever you want to call it. So a lot of us are having to work through certain wounds and belief systems that coincide with the idea of you doing something in order to be punished and then doing something in order to be rewarded and whilst I, I do believe that obviously um when we achieve something like it's a celebration and you want to receive praise and all of those kind of things so it's not about that it's about when you meet someone's expectations so they pour love into you and when you fall short of somebody's expectations they punish you and I personally don't agree with that because I feel like it's basically telling somebody that you're only worthy when you behave this way and when you behave this other way or when you don't meet this then you're unworthy and you're not good enough and now you don't get my love and I feel like that's just such a trauma creating thing and also a self-esteem issue because this is where people start creating masks and they start doing certain things to meet expectations of other people. Like they want that, um, they want to receive love, especially when you're a child, because you don't really understand what you did wrong fully, you know, especially if it's not something majorly serious, like you didn't actually hurt anyone or put hands on anyone or anything like that. But when you just, I don't know, maybe you didn't put your clothes in the laundry basket when you were supposed to or you didn't finish your dinner or you know like all of these kind of things can lead to punishment and reward and I feel like that is what's really affecting a lot of people's self-esteem because even though it sounds kind of silly but all of these things do trace back to childhood so you go on into adulthood and you get in more serious situations that can be more detrimental and like traumatic but when you trace that um that dynamic back you'll be able to see that it's come from something small when you were a child but when you're a child it doesn't feel small it feels like the end of the world because that is your life, like you're not worrying about bills or anything, you're worrying about being loved, you're worrying about being accepted, you're worrying about having friends and having family around you that support you and give you what you need, like meeting your basic needs like food and shelter and affection and attention, you know, like that's what we want as a child. So when any of those things are removed based on your behaviour, I feel like it really imprints this belief of the child not being good enough, not being worthy of affection, not being worthy of love, not being worthy of eating the right foods or whatever it may be that the punishment is. So this is just something that I've uncovered for myself and hopefully it resonates with you too but I don't know I'm just coming to understand it because it actually like the idea of this video got sparked when it came to my cat <laughs> as silly as that sounds but like my cat did something wrong and then immediately you want to like yell at the cat or tell the cat off and then not give it affection because it's done something that you don't like but the cat doesn't understand that it doesn't understand that it's done something wrong because in the cat's perception they've not done anything wrong do you know what I mean so when you then withdraw that love and you stop stroking it it's a bit like oh kind of thing like what did I do why are you not giving me attention give me attention please do you know what I mean but it can't communicate that with you because it's an animal and it's the same with children especially when they can't talk they're not able to communicate with you what they actually need so they end up just crying throwing a tantrum or whatever because their needs not being met or they're not being heard and understood and they don't know how to actually physically express that because 
I mean, they're a child and that's what our job is to teach them. So this is not a judgmental video and it's not to like bash anybody or talk about anybody else. This is just something that I'm realizing for myself. And as always, I share all of my revelations on here. And it's just something for you to think about on whether you've experienced that and how you feel like it's affected your self-esteem. And also if you have children or if you're gonna have children in the future, like how you would do things differently with them. Because I'm thinking for myself, especially at my age, now of 27 I feel like these are just things that I'm thinking about for the future of how I want to handle certain situations and how I'm gonna like teach people to just regulate their emotions and be able to express themselves and things without stripping away their meeting their basic needs because we all need to be loved we all need to feel accepted and to feel like we belong to feel like we're valued and appreciated, you know? So like we can tell somebody that they've done something wrong with the, or something that hurt us or something that offended us without stripping away their value and their worth and how much we respect them. Like you can be respectful in your communication of telling them that they've done something that has hurt your feelings or upset you, you know? So I just think it's about communication and respect as well. But yeah. <laughs> so I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Definitely comment down below if you have anything to add to this. Definitely check out the description box below for all links to my music, my social media, my jewelry brand, one-to-one -one sessions with me as well because I do offer one-to-one -one sessions and also my phone number where I send daily inspirational spiritual thoughts and videos every day by text and whatsapp so all of that is in the description box below and i will see you in the next video bye